All right. So today it's gonna be a little bit different than what I normally do. Uh, so normally, normally every Thursday, it's usually my second chest day of the week. And uh, I've been doing that for like four to five years. But, I mean, and it's been working great. But I've, I've been wanting to get an extra back day in. And I've, I've been trying to, you know, move things around and figure out exactly how I want to do it while still also <clears throat> hitting chest twice a week and getting, you know, my two leg days in a week. So the, the best solution I kind of come up with <coughs> is, so, so last week I hit chest on Monday and Thursday like always. So then this week, I hit chest on Monday. But today, Thursday, I'm going to hit just one set, or not one set, one exercise. Probably like, you know, like four sets or something <clears throat> here for upper chest. And then the rest of my workout is mainly going to be shoulders and triceps which is usually tomorrow's workout but since i'm doing it like that uh tomorrow i'm going to be able to hit just back which will be you know two days of hitting back this week which is what i've been trying to do and i'm going to kind of just it's almost like a two-week setup I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that every other week so you know one week i'll like normal i'll hit chest on monday and thursday and the week after that, I'll hit chest on Monday, and then but then that Thursday will be my shoulder and tricep day. So then the next day on Friday, I can hit that extra day of back. And it's you know it's not perfect, <clears throat> but it in that way, I'm still getting those extra two chest days a month. But then now I'm also getting an extra two back days a month, which you know when you first hear that, it might be like, well, that's not much. You know, but over time, that all those extra sets and reps of back, and then along with still getting, you know, those two extra chest days in, it will, uh, or at least in theory, it will, you know, start to see some better results from my back. Because <coughs> that's the one area I'm kind of, well, I mean, really everything I'm wanting to get bigger and, and uh, fuller rounder but my back specifically I want just a little bit a little bit more width mainly so you know try to get as much extra back in as I can but yeah so and then again another plus is I'm still getting a little bit of chest here and since it's incline you know it's a lot more sh front and belt and, and shoulder so it's still gonna you know be in line with the rest of the workout, which is shoulders and triceps after this. <coughs> so, yeah. this is kind of the first time I'm going to be doing it like this. So, by the time I'm done, I might not like it. But, I at least want to give it a try. <coughs> so, we'll see how it goes, you know. I, uh, I'll probably do a couple more warm-up sets and then should be able to you know get into that first set i haven't used this machine in a while so i'm still trying to this machine so it's fixed which makes it easier but i'm still trying to get the feel for it again <clears throat> but yeah a couple more warm-up sets and then you know we'll get into that first set i'm not gonna worry about weight too much today i mean again i'm gonna go as heavy as i can for the reps range i want but typically, you know, when I do this, I'd be in the five rep range, which is, you know, it's pretty heavy. But today, I think I'm going to be around, I'm wanting to be around eight to ten. So, I mean, it's still going to be heavy, just a little bit lighter. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, two more warm sets and then we should be, I should be ready to go for that first set. <clears throat> 
you know, real quick, I will say, <clears throat> I woke up from my nap like 30 minutes before I came in here. So, you know, I'm not going to make any excuses here, but I'm a little groggy still. So, it might take me, I mean, I did like two, one, two, three, I did four or five, four or five warm-up sets. You know how it is. I mean, I'm sure some of you are just like this, but like even in the morning when I first wake up or if I wake up after a nap, dude, it can take me like an hour to actually fully, you know, wake up and, and feel ready to do whatever I got to do. So, <coughs> but, but later on today, I have some things I got to do. So it's like, I woke up and I was like, well, fuck, I gotta, I gotta go to the gym, you know? So <clears throat> hopefully after a couple sets here, my energy kind of, you know, gets up a little bit. <clears throat> but this is the first set. So we'll see how it goes. Well, if I wasn't awake, I am now. <laughs> Holy shit. That felt pretty good, though. So, so far, I'm happy with it. We'll do like three more here. I have a feeling by like the last set, I might not even be getting seven reps. So I don't know if it starts to get below seven, you know, I'm up, you know, leave your fucking ego at the door as soon as you walk to the gym, man. If, uh, if it starts to get below seven, I'll, you know, I'll take the 25 off or something, but I think that was eight. So I might be okay for two more sets to get at least seven. We'll see. Yeah, I think, I think one more set, chances are I'll probably only get seven on this fourth set, but, you know, that's, that's good enough for me today. <laughs> chances are, again, might end up doing a drop set. You guys know there's actually a really good chance I will. <clears throat> Okay, so um, there's actually a machine right to my left here that I've been using, especially here lately, I've been using it quite a bit on Monday, which is my first chest day of the week. <clears throat> and, you know, to a novice, you know, someone who hasn't been lifting very long, well, honestly, even an intermediate lifter, you know, if you... If you looked at them, they look almost exactly the same. You know what I mean? Like it looks like they they serve the same purpose, but in reality, the one to my left 
it uh it replicates more of a flat bench while this one is more you know upper chest and incline and, and even though it's you know the bench is at the same angle uh and it looks like that this is at the same angle <clears throat> it's really not and it, it really that's it's all about the the arm angles so this one when you're laying back and as you're pushing you're pushing more up you know what i mean like you would on an incline but that one i mean literally you're laying almost the same degree here so you're laying on that one <clears throat> like you would on an incline press instead of pushing up it, it almost kind of comes out like this straight out which if you look at the angle of your arm to your torso that's basically exactly like a flat bench whereas this one when you're pushing up it's more of incline so it's it's all about the arm angles and the angle of your torso and that kind of determines what part of the chest you're hitting i mean same thing with chest flies you know what i mean or cable flies you know if you come down like this if you're charting from up here and you're coming down well that's the same thing as a as a decline bench you know you're laying at an angle this way backwards and you're pushing more down and then well cable fly same thing if you're coming up cable fly from the bottom up same thing like an incline <clears throat> so it's all about those arm angles and that that really determines what part of the chest you're gonna hit so even though these look the same they're not and that's why I mean, if you just look at the weight that I do, I can do, so I have four and a half plates here on each side on this one. Well, on that one, I've worked up to, if I did five and a half plates on each side on that one, I'd probably do about the same amount of reps as four and a half on this one. Maybe even more, honestly. And that's uh, it's all because the arm angle. That one's easier because it replicates more of a flat bench, so I can push more weight. So, you know, if you kind of, basically just put two and two together kind of look at all the factors and what you feel and how how much easier that one is than this one <clears throat> you know just using some logic you can kind of figure out exactly what's going on you know and what part of the chest each one's hitting just kind of wanted to throw that out there though it's uh it's, it's important to look at that stuff i mean very important actually if you're uh if you think you're hitting one part of your body and you're really not, it's <laughs> it's kind of pointless, you know. <coughs> but anyways, let's uh let me get this last set in. strip some plates off and I'll do a drop set. Yeah, we'll do. I'll do three on each side. I wasn't going to go down to two, but I think that might just be a little too light. Who knows, this might be too heavy, but that's a good thing. If this ends up being too heavy for a drop set, you know, I'll do another one. Kind of make up for the lost reps.
I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do another one. I'll stop there and uh, we'll uh, we'll start hitting some shoulders and triceps. <clears throat> well, it should be no surprise that I'm gonna start off shoulders with a good old lateral raise machine. Uh, honestly, after doing those four sets with a drop set on the uh. Oh my god, I'm having a brain fart <laughs> on the incline. We'll just say incline press machine. Uh, you know, I don't really need too many warm up sets here, but I'm gonna do a couple just to, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, <coughs> I did, I've done one already. I'll do, you know, I'll add a little bit more weight, do another one, and then <coughs> get into that first, get into this first set. I really don't know how many sets I plan on doing here. I'll honestly probably just camp out, you know, as long as it, you know, however many sets that it feels good, and then I, however many sets I feel that I get, you know, what I wanted out of it. It could be three, it could be four, five, six, I don't know. But it's kind of, uh, since this is a new, it's not, a, well, I guess maybe it is a new routine. I mean, a lot of this routine is going to be the same thing I would do on, on my regular shoulder and tricep day, but not after doing a little bit of chest. So it's not that much different, but it is a little. So, you know, I'll kind of, I think a smart thing here to do would be to just, you know, just feel it out. And if it stops feeling good, you know, I'll move on to some triceps and just keep going from there. Oh man. All right, so what am I three three sets in here? So I'm thinking at this point I'm thinking one, maybe two more sets. And then actually what I might do after that, which I've never actually I've never done it on this machine. So as long as it feels okay, I'll do it. But I'm thinking after, you know, however many more sets I do, I'm going to go into a drop set and I'm going to get in there. But instead of doing both, I'm going to do one, one shoulder at a time. <clears throat> and I don't know. Well, you know, I kind of just, I mean, if I start doing it and I just don't like the way it feels, I, I won't do it. You know, maybe I'll switch back to both arm, a uh, both arm at the time, at the same time drop set. But I don't know, I want to try it. I feel like I feel like sometimes when you get machines like this, <clears throat> without even noticing, you can, you know, whatever side's stronger, you can kind of lean and have that side do a little bit more of the work. So I think it'd be kind of cool to try a drop set, but just doing one shoulder at a time and you know, just kind of see what happens. Obviously, I won't go crazy heavy. It'll be drop set, and <clears throat> I'll be doing it just to get it, a, you know, a fucking crazy pump. 
but yeah, I want to give it a shot at least. So we'll see. Yeah, you know what? I think that's good. I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna go into this drop set I was talking about. This weight might be a little too heavy. I don't know. Like I said, I've never done it, so we'll see. <clears throat> Honestly, that might have been a little too light. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do another one. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good shit. Next time I do that, I will go just a little bit heavier. Again, drop shots are, are supposed to be lighter and, and pretty easy, but that was a little too easy. So next time I'll remember, you know, instead of doing it with 70, maybe do 80, something like that. But yeah, let's, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking today I'm going to do dumbbell skull crushers. I'm, uh, doing pretty good, so, yeah, let's go do some dumbbell skull crushers. Alright, so today, I'm going to be a little ambitious here. Normally I've been doing my skull crushers with 75s, but it's, like, honestly, it's been feeling pretty light, so... I'm going to give the 80s a run here. And, I mean, it's no big deal. If it ends up being too much, you know, just fucking drop weight for the next set or two. or You know, where, depending wherever I'm at and uh, however many sets I'm in doing this. So, hopefully, you know, it feels pretty good. So, only thing I can do is fucking try and see, right?
Ugh. That was, I really, again, I don't know how many reps I even did. But that was definitely, it was definitely more challenging. Um, I don't know. I feel like I can do one more, at least one more good set around eight to 10 reps. And then on the last set, I might, I might drop the weight, <clears throat> but I'm, uh, I'm wanting to challenge my triceps a little bit more today because I mean, not because I've been going easy on them per se, but I have, I have kind of dialed it back just a little bit on my triceps. So, you know, if I can get a couple tough sets like I just did, and then, you know, the rest of it kind of just good maybe a little bit higher rep sets, I will, I'll be pretty happy with that. So again, I'll do this weight one more time and I already know it's going to be fucking tough, but you know, if you're not fucking challenging yourself like this. You know, you're not really going to see the progress that you think you should see, you know? And there's a difference, so like you don't want every single set to be like that, because then, you know, you're not really going to recover like you should. And then over time, it's just whether it's injuries or just fatigue, whatever. But you're going to have some hurdles you have to jump over that necessarily shouldn't have to be there, you know. So a couple hard sets like that, you know, and then the rest of the sets will still be like I'm going to bring intensity and it's going to be hard, but a different a different kind of hard if that makes sense you know like th that set i just did it was a lot of uh you know fucking a lot of grit and just giving it like literally i had to give everything i had on those last two or three reps just to get the the rep <clears throat> so you know after this next set the rest of it will be kind of like i said it'll be intense you know i'll fucking push it but just a little easier on the joints and, and, and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to talk as long as I can, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I can give myself a long break. You know what? That wasn't too horrible, so oh fuck it, I'm gonna do that one more time. Damn, I actually felt a little lighter. <laughs> you believe that shit? <sighs> Pretty fucking cool. But, uh, yeah, I'll call it there for Skull Crushers. And I don't know. A lot of, a lot of today's shoulder work is going to be mainly this, this, uh, side delts. Um, 
I might throw in a little bit of front belt, but it won't be much. When you do as much incline bench pressing as I do, I mean, yeah, the sole focus on that is upper chest, but there is a, a significant amount of front belt required, you know, and, and involved in that. That's why, like, when I do my most muscular, fuck, I mean, I might even do that at the end of the workout so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. My upper chest and my front belts, I mean, they just, they just pop. So, at least for the foreseeable future, a lot of my shoulder work is going to be side delts and some rear delts and very minimal front belt. So, yeah. Anyways. I'll probably move on to some straight arm, dumbbell, side laterals, you know, try like three good sets there and then <clears throat> yeah, keep trucking along. All right, so those those 40 pound dumbbells, I mean, what I do like, well, it was over 20 reps for sure, maybe like 22 or 23. So again, just a little too light. <clears throat> so I'm gonna speed up my rest in between sets. So I'll, I'll rest around a minute, minute and a half. <coughs> and, uh, and then I also went up to the 45s. So hopefully that puts me around, you know, around 15 reps. And uh, I'll do a couple more sets like that. And yeah, we'll kind of go from there. <clears throat> Fuck, you know what? Okay. So this is where it's important to really pay attention. What you're feeling, how the weight's feeling, you know, all that. Well, I still did like 17 or 18 reps just now. So honestly, on this last set, I'll probably go up to the 50s. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Really nothing else to say. I'm gonna go up to the 50s and hopefully again that puts me closer to that 12 to 15 rep range. And if it feels good enough, I might even extend this and do a fourth set. But I'll wait and see. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, I'm thinking one more set actually. One more like that. Yeah. <sighs> 
those ruts are starting to get a little ugly so it's time to move on to probably just the tricep push down on the cable something a little easier after the skull crushers <laughs> Uh, one more like that. So, well, yeah, you know what? Why not? I'm gonna do a drop set. Okay. Honestly, that's probably going to be the last tricep exercise and set that I do today. But that's kind of one reason why I wanted to go so hard on the skull crushers. I mean, those three sets of skull crushers were so difficult, you know. And then I did three sets here in a drop set, so seven sets. I mean, that's all I need. My triceps are cooked. So. I'm going to try to get one more shoulder exercise in. And that'll probably be it for today. I'm on a bit of a time crunch. I got like, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes. And I uh, got to head out of here. So, <clears throat> yeah. Less talking and more moving, I guess. But yeah, three more sets of shoulders and should be a good day. Uh, yeah, if you can't tell, this movement's kind of just, I mean, really lightweight. And it's a little bit of a mobility 
you know, you're coming up like this and you turn your hands facing the mirror. And, you know, like I said, lightweight. It's, you know, good for shoulder mobility, shoulder health. And then after you do as many as you can like that, you just slightly bend over. And uh, with your arms as straight as you can keep them, you know, just do as many reps as you can. And I'll say I might only do one more set like that. And like I said, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch. So that'd be one more super set like that. And uh, call it a day. Right, I know I said just one more set, but I got a little little spare time, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one more and then you know I'll hit some poses but it had to be fast. I got like ten minutes, so <clears throat> Okay, this is going to be pretty short and sweet. I got like like four or five minutes and I have to get out of here. So Let me get closer. I'll show you guys what I was talking about with uh, my upper pecs and front de belt and how I really don't need much, much work. Hope you guys can see that pretty good.
Oh, man. All right, that's uh, as much as I don't want to, that's gonna have to be it. I got to uh, oh shit, <laughs> almost fell over. I gotta get all my shit gathered up and uh, gotta get my protein in me. That's that's the most important thing, but uh, yeah, man, get out of here. I will say real quick this whole you know, a little bit of chest to start. You know, mainly incline, upper chest, and then hitting shoulders and triceps after. I mean, it's just one workout, but I uh, I like the way it felt. I mean, it felt pretty good. So, so far, so good. But uh, yeah, tomorrow is going to be cool, too. Tomorrow is just back by itself. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a new experience. And pretty excited about it but yeah so I'm uh that's it man I'm gonna get out of here <clears throat>